What I'm really excited about, especially this year with the Los Angeles Urban League, is that we have really made it a point to ensure that we're not just your parents' Urban League. We have evolved, we have become fluid and nimble and really focused on issues of today. We're a civil rights organization that is focused on empowering our community and other underserved communities. The mission of the Urban League is to cr basically create opportunities for the community, specifically people of color and even more specifically African Americans, and create programs and skill sets and careers that will allow for economic empowerment, allow for parity, allow for access. This restructuring period is exciting because it's really a chance to redefine the Urban League of the 21st century. I think now with our new CEO, Michael Lawson, we have all the ingredients in place that we have a winning team that can produce results for the community. I am dedicated to making sure that this organization not only gets back to the level of uh, that it was under John Mack, but beyond that to make sure that the Urban League not just survives, but thrives in the 21st century. Here at, specifically at the Los Angeles Urban League, it is not just a job, it is not a, just a career, it is a calling. Everyone who works here, they have a vested interest in making a difference, and they believe it, they live it, they breathe it every single day. Many organizations focus on social justice, but in terms of what the Urban League does, we focus on economic justice in the day-to-day -day lives of, of LA citizens, leveling the playing field for businesses and for workers who otherwise might be disenfranchised. We're not an exclusive organization. We welcome anybody who wants to give involved, who believes in the mission of the LA Urban League. This is the premier civil rights organization. One of the things that this organization does, I think better than anyone else, is the way in which we collaborate with other organizations that are out there, not just on the corporate level, not just the, the, the elected officials, but we work collaboratively with other organizations that are under this civil rights umbrella. The monies that are given go directly to people being able to develop skills that are gonna be not just about a job, but about a career. Skills that will allow them to have that economic empowerment for the long term. Things like trained workers who are ready to take advantage of opportunities, empowered businesses uh, that create jobs and help the community be stabilized, and educated kids who become informed community members. The people here at the Urban League are very, very helping type people. So I just, um got out of prison. I had met Galvez, he was an Urban League employee. He had told me, hey, I got this two-week program that I'm doing for construction. Everything was free. I didn't have to pay for nothing. And a lot of the work that I do in safety is directly related to what I learned here at the Urban League. The entrepreneurship business program that I was at, I actually started when I was nine years old. They taught me how to make business cards, which was very useful. They taught us how to do an elevator slate, and they also taught me how to make my own business plan. These are really good life lessons and skills that you're learning at an early age, and you'll also be able to buy things you want and learn how to invest. The reason that it's important to support the Urban League is that we are in a political climate and a um, social climate that is in some ways unprecedented. Sometimes we'll say, you know, the Urban League mattered a generation ago. But I would argue that it matters even more today because things that we achieved 50 years ago, those doors that were kicked open, they are systematically being closed. And if we don't take action right now, today, myself, my children, my children's children are gonna have the same issues that my parents had 50, 60 years ago. Giving to the Urban League is really an investment in the future that allows families to stay together, that allows students to, to grow and thrive. We believe in developing programs that are evidence-based and data-driven. We want our stakeholders to make investments in programs that ultimately will have a major impact on the communities that we invest in. There's a lot of people that I know that grew up uh, with the LA Urban League's programming. And so those people have gone off to college, they've gone off and given back to their own communities. So it's so important to give back to LA Urban League because the LA Urban League has given back to us. You make a living by what you get. You make a life by what you give. And that person that may have no hope, they're gonna have opportunity at the Los Angeles Urban League.
Just think about the people, you know, like myself that, you know, don't have the opportunity to have the financial means. That's one of the best ways to help is to, you know, donate to causes that's gonna actually have an impact on people's lives. This organization is too important to this city, it's too important to the African American community, it's too important to other underserved communities within Los Angeles to not be at the table. Much has been done, but this fight is not over. We have much to do.